I am here today to tell you what I know when it comes to stars, galaxies, planets and astronomy. I know that there are a large number of formations of stars, such as the well-known Big Dipper and Little Dipper. Did you know that people say that there are more stars in the sky than grains of sand on all the beaches in the world? Oh, and the first ever telescope was an amazing 46 metres long and hung from a 40 metre post. The mastermind behind this amazing feat of engineering is the one, the only, Galileo Galilei. The telescope has evolved from a simple child's toy to an instrument used to gaze into the brightly shining stars and out into other worlds. It's amazing to think that such an awesome device came from a mere toy. And I'm sure that sometime in the future, someone will create an even better modification for it. For a technology and focused astronomers, the future possibilities are endless. Anyway, enough about telescopes. Let's get on to the planets. There are eight planets called Earth, where we live, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Venus, Jupiter, and two dwarf planets called Pluto and Sedna. First up, Earth where we live. Earth is a planet where life thrives. The temperature, atmosphere and natural resources are all geared up for human existence. It has plentiful supply of everything needed to create buildings and structures for the entire animal kingdom. By animals, I mean those known as humans, as well as four-legged, winged and finned kind. The seas, lakes, rivers and forests provide areas to explore and examine. From the consistent examination of these and natural features, Humans have even developed sources of energy from the Earth's very own self-made fossil fuels. Earth is an awesome planet, but I wouldn't really want to live on any other planet. Why? No other planet has the right things to keep me alive, that's why. Well, not that we know of yet. Next up, Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, therefore making it the hottest. It is the innermost and smallest planet in the solar system. Mercury has no atmosphere, making it impossible to live on for even a day. So with that information, I expect you understand why it isn't a great place to go for holiday. Now, here comes the teeny weeny dwarf planet Sedna. Sedna was discovered in 2003 by Michael E. Brown, C. Trujillo and D. Rabinowitz. It is the coldest object in our solar system, with a freezing surface temperature of negative 240 degrees Celsius. Since Chile Sedna is so far away from the sun, it takes 11,400 years to orbit at once. And now to warm you up from your chilly encounter with Sigma, here comes the boiling hot sun. The core of the sun is an extreme 15 million degrees Celsius. The sun is the centre of our solar system, with all the other planets orbiting around it. It provides planet Earth with the main ingredient that it needs to survive, heat. Perhaps this means that, the, that this mass of flames is the most important feature of our solar system. For life, without it, as we know it, wouldn't exist. Or would it? Is there another way? I guess. I've just unearthed the very beginnings of a whole new set of wonderings, and one thing that I do know for sure is the fact that I want to know more. I'm Joe Rosman, I come from Phoenix School, and I'm 10 years old.